can I kick it? Things ain't been the same, things have changed, can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I? Hey, could count on my power and look at my dog some It was way back then, could claim what you saw, but you weren't with us. Hey. The higher the climb, the harder the fire, but how did you get up? I done got rich and went broke, then got rich again, just a little hiccup. I did be bottom this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry, I had to eat gross. Hey, how did the lady go miss? Hey, how she would imagine she mixed? Hey, met her at one of the functions, we caught her the rhythm. She caught up a friend, they kissed and we dipped it, and that's how we kicked it. Let me explain what I did, can I kick it? Hold on, yeah, I got some rings and a range, can I kick it? Yeah, don't ask me a thing, how I got her, how I did it, yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast, can I kick it? Even with a sprain, pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain, can I kick it? Things ain't been the same, things have changed, can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I? Before I went live, they know what I was, ain't no one alive to do what I does. Need a light here to catch my buzz. Need right here to catch my cuz. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with a cat? We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the New York Giants. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Christian McCaffrey. His pop was a giant for three years. He'll rumble for about six Number up across 22, the 20 to the 22. The, the game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Love from the gun. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And the Panther first down. down love to pass and he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there the sack coming from big Dalvin Tomlinson great job defensively I think he was trying to go through his progressions find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it he was on his back so that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning a great job defensively nowhere to go with the football that led to the sack so following the sack they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13 They'll run with McCaffrey. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, Love. And he's got his target. That's more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. the shotgun it's love flushed out right and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Dexter Lawrence what an effort from him on that play big tackle for a loss of 11 second down well, they're in 
some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. On play action. Love to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. They have confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be. But early in this one, advantage defense. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. And six. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Here's Love. He's going to look deep for more. This is caught at the 20. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Another big gainer, two in succession, as this one goes for 32. Panther, first down. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. Curtis Samuel, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Is good. And this will be good to give the Panthers a seven to nothing lead. Giants, nothing. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this carries into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked so well, and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On second down, here's Barkley, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down and keep the sticks moving. And a penalty flag down as he gets only about a yard. Now let's listen in on the call. 
So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot, but they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. the gun. Here's Watson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And three yards there takes him to the 45. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the gun, Watson. Oh, nearly picked. Almost intercepted, but he couldn't hang on, and it's third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Now Watson on third down. And that will be incomplete. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. It will knock that one away and force a fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. This is taken around the 12. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 16-yard line. Here's second and 10. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Panthers seven, Giants nothing. Love now on second down. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. The tackle made well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down. For the ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover, but I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. 
Yeah, well, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let it, you go. I took a shot. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. For Carolina. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Love. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Panthers. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Wide receiver. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven at the Giants' 29-yard line. Love now. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. To the air again. Love. Looking left side. That's caught by Moore. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. McCaffrey on the toss right. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Tackled, he lost six there on the first down play. Because his primary job is defending against the pass, you don't often see a cornerback making tackles in the backfield. But he's playing run all the way here. Second and 16. Working out of the gun, Love. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on, it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. And his kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And 
he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The tackle man. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. A handoff to Barkley on the option, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now Saquon Barkley, and he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, Make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into it. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. Yitor Gross Matos with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Pretty good spot. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, and we know that's not true. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now a second down throw for Love here. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he rifles one incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore. And that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing again, Love. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Forced out to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal.
And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now they go screen, it's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Boy, that's a five-yard loss, fourth down now. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. I can still hear it reverberate through this thick skull of mine. Crossing routes versus man-to-man -man coverage, it's a bad matchup for the defense. Those tend to work very well as they run away from the defender. And he stopped immediately there. On the carry. No gain on the play there, second down. Sometimes with the running game, you just gotta stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. From 13 yards out. And the Giants have got it back to a one score game. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this, we know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. First and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse the... And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. 48 yards. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half, and they came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big game. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. At the 25-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. McCaffrey. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. A gain of three, second down. Julian Love, a three yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. 
at the 10 yard line. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Now Love. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. On second down, McCaffrey. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. From the five, third and goal. Credit the Giants defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. Credit Julian Love with a pass breakup. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick. Right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On first and 10, Watson. He's got Burton here. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, quick hitter here, it's complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. But the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top-10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, 
touchdowns. He's got a first down past the 30. Finally taken down at the 32-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into... And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers add on to their lead. In order to lead in the game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. Yeah, you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Throwing on second and three. Watson, that's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football but needing points as we start quarter number four. The Giants on third down. Not good, 0 for 4 thus far. Here it's third and three. Operating from the gun, Watson will get this out to Barkley complete. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. 48-yard line. From the gun, Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. There he goes, right side. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here, 
in this fourth quarter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done. This is intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> Brings up second and nine at the 41-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Love from the gun. And that is incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Joey Sly for the Panther field goal. A 60-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that right there is something we've seen, oh, I don't know, 15 times in NFL history. That will officially go down as a 60-yard field goal. And everything has to be absolutely perfect for this to have any chance. He's got to get it out low and really drive through it. And I tell you, that was one heck of a kick, one heck of a decision on the sideline to even try it as well. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. The ball carrier. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty, and the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Now a run with McCaffrey. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On the ground, McCaffrey. 
And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 yards there, first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. The tackle made at the six-yard line. A three-yard pickup, and it's third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Here's McCaffrey. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in the game that looks to have been decided already. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they take a knee. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. And they will take a knee here. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for Carolina, they move back over 500 now at four and three. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year.